So today I want to talk about unopened pots from early position and middle position. In general, uh, as far as opening, I like to stay pretty tight uh, early on. Uh, I wrote here many variables, which means that when you when it's unopened to you from uh, and you are in early position, there's five players left to act, uh, which means that they have 10 cards between them and uh, a lot of different things can happen. Um, so it's, it's the situation that uh, is most complex uh, in terms of possibilities. Also, if you raise, you are most likely to see a flop when you raise from early position. Um, you are most likely to be out of position. Um, and uh, those two things combine to uh, mean that you're going to have to have pretty good hands. And I will talk about what I mean by uh, having pretty good hand strength uh, in a little bit. Now, when you're in late position, there's many fewer variables. So for example, when you're in the small blind, there's only one player left to act. Or if you're on the button, there's two players left to act. Um, they have fewer cards in between them, which means that they um, it's much less likely that those two cards are cards that they're willing to play. Um, and when it's just like, you know, when you're in the small blind and there's the big blind left to act, you have a pretty good idea of their kind of tendencies, how tight they are, uh, how uh, frequently they three bet, how often they defend. Um, you can just control for a lot more things. And when you open from the cutoff and the button, you're much more likely to uh, be in position and much less likely to see any kind of flop. So because of that, you don't need uh, hands that are uh, as strong. So I'm sure all you guys um, know this general idea of playing tight early and playing loose late, but um, I don't think, I, I still don't think people uh, appreciate just, just how important this is. So uh, moving on to early position, middle position opening range. Uh, I broke it down into hands that I will always open, usually open, sometimes open, and seldom open. Um, now, uh, I guess under seldom, there's, there are times when I'll open king eight suited from uh, early position, uh, but there's just there's there's no reason to include that as seldom just because uh, it's it's not a hand that I open. It's a hand that I probably open you know less than uh, less than five percent of the time. So I'm just not going to go into it. But uh, all pocket pairs, um, very strong suited broadways, and some of the stronger off suit broadways are hands that I'm always going to be opening. Uh, suited aces I usually open. Um, some of these uh, weaker suited connectors and uh, offsuit broadways I, I'll open sometimes. And uh, as you can see, there's some of these suited um, suited one gappers, like suited medium one gappers and uh, et cetera. Uh, I'll open seldom. So I have a range of ranges that I open from early and middle position. So this is more of like my early position opening range. From middle position, uh, I would say the the green stuff becomes always, and the blue stuff becomes usually. Like it's very rare that I don't open a and off suit from middle position, but there certainly are times when I don't do it. So um, now that you have kind of a general idea of the kind of opening ranges uh, that I have, um, I want to talk about adjusting that opening range. So I would say by default, uh, the the green stuff is what I open. You know, eighty-five percent of the time, green stuff and uh, green and orange, eighty-five percent of the time from uh, early position. But uh, I adjust, so I tighten up when there are players uh, with a high three bet percentage in the cutoff and the button. Um, so hands like uh, Ace Six suited, I usually just tend to fold. Uh, in those situations, when there's short stackers in the blinds, uh, and uh, like, well, basically, if people are going to be calling, short stackers are going to be shoving, uh, and then I'm op like, then I'm opening and I'm folding uh, a lot. So usually, when there's short stackers in the blinds and regulars uh, that are going to have position on me, uh, I just pitch um, some of my um, some of my weaker hands, and I tend to loosen up when there are tight regulars who don't three bet much in late position. So for anyone that has a VPIP of under 19, um, for the most part, 
I will have like, if I'm in early position, I'll open my middle position range, or if I'm in middle position, I'll open my cutoff range. Um, and it really helps to have loose passive players in the blinds. And so if I've got loose passives in the blinds, I'm going to be opening wider because I'm more likely to uh, be heads up with them uh, with position and I'm going to be able to make better decisions. So uh, now I want to look at a couple of hands where I ended up uh, playing either looser or tighter and describe the table conditions that um, made me uh, either loosen my range or tighten my range.